Some researchers are concerned that if people do not start having more babies, humankind will go extinct. And it's actually pretty reasonable. I'll tell you why. First off, fertility rates are in fact going down. For the average couple, there's going to be about 2.2 kids, which is slightly higher than replacement, but there is a problem. We do have an ever declining fertility rate that has been made worse because male cells have been declining in quality quite rapidly since the 50s. When a population starts having a lot of older people, that's going to be at the top of the pyramid, and less younger people, it's going to collapse. That is what we're seeing worldwide. We're seeing less people having children, we're seeing people's lives extend longer, so we really can't have continuous growth. Humans are somewhat unique in the sense that we don't really have predator-prey cycles. No, we're no longer running from tigers or bears, depending on if you're me. No one knows where my username came from. I've encountered a lot of bears. Like, a disproportionate number of bears. This is beside the point. Our lifespans are getting longer, and that shouldn't be a bad thing. Unfortunately, with the way that we evolved and the way that we live, we haven't really suited ourselves for a continuously aging population. Many countries have tried implementing things like free childcare, even giving people money to take care of their children, which is awesome, but it doesn't increase the birth rate that much. We can bring that topic back to mouse utopia, but when people start feeling disenfranchised, like there's nowhere for them to go, there's no reason for them to have children. There's no upward momentum, and that continues the problem with a society that requires continuous growth, and that's what human beings do. This shows the probability of extinction based on fertility rates. Even with the massive population that the world has, and you might have seen that there may have been a miscalculation, so we have somewhere between 8 billion and 11 billion people on our planet. We actually have no idea how many people are here. But seeing fertility rates drop to about 2.2, maybe even 2, we haven't accounted for everyone, that is just replacement, which might be a good thing. Unless, you know, we're concerned about the health of the world population. Now, we do see the probability of extinction go up, and that's not guaranteed. While models do tend to shake out as correct most of the time, they don't account for things like humanity. We can have a lot of ingenuity. You know what I think the real issue with lower fertility rates is? And I certainly don't think it's anyone concerned about the good of humanity. It's going to mean that economies, which are reliant on continuous growth, may collapse. That's right, nobody is comfortable with stagnation. Stagnation is failure. Everything around us is reliant that our population keeps growing and production keeps increasing. I don't know if you figured that out yet, but that is inherently unstable. So what can we do about it? Have more babies? No. Humans are incredibly destructive, and we've destroyed more than our fair share of the planet. Should we stop living as long? Well, I think we're already on that path. The honest truth is nothing. We cannot do anything. I also struggle to think that humanity really will truly go extinct. There were 1,200 people breeding populations on this planet for around 100,000 years in our evolutionary history. Life is very hard to snuff out, and I really don't think that humans are any exception. What I would like to not happen is any of the several dozen apocalyptic dystopian books that I have on my shelf. I beg of you.